YouTube friends. Um, this is going to be a bit of a short video. Lots have been going on here, so I'm a bit late at getting a video online. I normally try to do them monthly, um, but lots has been happening. And I don't know if you can see it behind me, but uh, we've been decorating. And so the walls are very bland. I've had to take all my artwork down. I'm about to put some artwork back up and I'm selecting it. So I thought I'd share with you um, some of that work so you can see the type of work I used to produce. I don't produce quite so much today. Um, live a busy life, basically. But hopefully I'll have some more time soon. that I can get on and enjoy being in my workroom more. Um, this is, might be a bit wobbly because I'm doing it on my mobile phone. So apologies. Whilst I'm here talking to you, um, welcome to all the new subscribers that have recently joined. It's lovely to meet you all. Um, the reason this channel exists is because it was all to do with lockdown and it was to provide a link to our lovely customers at the Textiles East Fair to our traders and still experience an exhibition that didn't exist that year. Uh, I have continued it um, as more people have joined and have shown interest. And so I shall continue it for a bit, for a long, for a bit while yet. We'll see. It might be that I end up having to do less videos. Um, let me show you what I've been up to. Okay, so that is one of the very blank walls. It's only one. I've got another one behind me in my hallway. And there's always been artwork on it. So now I'm just selecting what I'm choosing. This is one of the pieces. Um, it's black. It's based on, a, I was actually in a woodland not far from Glastrum Toll, so it's a bit of imaginary um, link. It's, you couldn't see this view, it doesn't exist, but the woodland nearby had a red tower in it. So the woodland is based on a red tower, but the Glastrum Toll I've done in the distance. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. And what it is, it's needle felting and hand embroidery. So that's a piece I'm going to put up. Let me take that one out of the way. Um, I'm not sure if he'll go back up, but this is my green man. I'm going to come in closer. Hopefully my phone will refocus. Um, this was an experimental piece that I did. Oh, it must be getting on for a good 10 years ago now. It's... Um, I had a, bought a product from Art Van Gogh years ago that's like um, a polymer foam type clay. And it's almost like a paper and you can mould it. So it's all moulded and then you can stitch into it. So I don't know if you can see the, if I tilt it, you can see there's sort of depth to it. And it's stitched onto a violin base. So I'm not sure that it'll go back up. And I've got another green man. Um, and all these are silk on wire. The ones that are 3D. Let me just show you again. It's 3D quality. It's thread on wire, sort of couched on. It's. Um, I might show you this technique in a future video if you're interested. Comment, tell me if you are interested in knowing how to put wire in your fabric. And I can do that as a video. But again, that might not go back up on the wall. It depends where the gaps are. Now this one. Let me just tilt it so the sun does, or the light doesn't catch on it. This is a 3D piece. It's, I don't know if you can see. It's made of 3D layers. There's gaps in between the layers. It's a watercolour background. And each layer is the blue bellwood. And it's based on the blue bellwood just up the road from me here. So it is a landscape that exists near me. Um, now this one is quite long. These are all on canvases. And I'm mumming and ahhing. Well, this one's actually stitched onto the canvas. Let me, I'll soon come back. Oh, sorry, it's so wobbly. I don't know if you can see. It's all French, oh yeah, my nail, bashed it with a hammer. Um, all French knots, hand stitched. And this all in through here is actually machine stitching. You can't tell in this light, 
but it's actually metallic threads and that is a lot based on Loch Tay in Scotland and that's stitched on a canvas now this one is actually I was my husband parked up one day on holiday in the bus with a camper bus and uh, he fell asleep and I sat and drew this in my art pad and this is um, Exmoor beautiful view in Exmoor so I'm going to come down a bit closer and it's a combination of my hand dyed felted materials again it's all felted um, some of the materials I've I use such as like a almost it is a violin form of violin or stabilizer and if you put a if you can see that try and get into a point where it will focus for you struggling to focus but if you can see the textures there I actually heated heated that material so it sort of sort of curled up buckled a bit and uh, then stitched it down to create the rocks. And you can see I hand stitched, it's still soft, soft enough for me to hand stitch. So, so that's X more. Next one. So a lot of these I, I did some time ago. This, believe it or not, and I really love it, was a sample to that green man I showed you earlier. This chap. So I sampled how I wanted the bark part of it to look, and I actually liked it so much. I put this on a canvas. And again, you can see this. This here is this paper polymer clay from Art Van Gogh. And then you can shape it and mould it. It's soft enough to stitch into. There's lots of texture, lots of colour. And I just kept stitching until I was happy. Quite a bit of couching, sort of cross-hatching effect. Some metallics are three. You know, I've got a metallic coming through here. I've couched it through. Change of season or change of view completely. This is... Um, Near us, towards the coast, um, there is a lavender field. The lavender looks amazing. I don't know if you can see the lavender. The colour is not so good in this lighting. I'll come in a bit closer. And you can see I've done like bullion knots and French knots. And there's all texture there. And it is slight. Again, I'm, I'll just put it on the slightly 3D. I don't know whether you can see. These are actually raised here. They're actually raised disappear into the background now we're in, <laughs> we're in flat country so the lavender fields near us just look a bit boring and flat so I had to put a mountain in the background so it's part real landscape and part I wish we were near the mountains landscape and that's again a needle felted piece um, with some hand stitching and a bit of machine stitching Next piece I want to show you again is Exmoor. Uh, I just love the sort of walls. I'm coming in a little bit so you can see the textures again. This is a bit of needle felting. We've got different types of wool just here. I've, kept, I've needle felted in some yarns. I've machine stitched it. I've hand stitched it. Um, Sort of, this was like a, yeah, it was just an interesting view. I quite liked. And so it's a combination of needle felting and applique, really. Free motion embroidery, hand stitching. <clears throat> Again, another needle felted piece. Let me just come in, I'll show you. I've sort of bled this out into the can I like to sew on the canvas itself. So I've sort of bled into the canvas here. Uh, these rocks are padded, so they are slightly 3D. 
again I don't know if, I can, if you can see it if I tilt it a fraction you might see there's a bit of depth to it and the sea I've done the sea this is based more <clears throat> on the Cornish coast There's the lighthouse and the light keepers cottages in the background there. But I like the I thought when I first created it I wanted a quite a stormy setting. Again, it's more part fantasy. It's not it's not an image that really exists. Well saying that, you know, I did did do some research on, on different lighthouses and that probably is based on a real lighthouse, but the um, rest of it is my own composition, colours, etc. But I wanted something that was quite stormy looking, but with a bit of colour, because the other others aren't particularly full of colour. And then I've got, oh, in, going into autumn, <clears throat> again a needle felted piece, hand stitched. An avenue of trees. I do love avenue of trees. And then this same avenue of trees. There we go. In the, the sort of summer, spring, well, spring, summer, and fall leaf. And I love, let me zoom in, if you hopefully it will keep in focus. Love the, doing the French knots. And the, it's just, a, it's actually a chain, it's daisy chain, but not in a chain, it's just a daisy, daisy stitch. I think other people give it a different name, but that's what I call it. And then finally, this is a long piece. Hang on, let me open it up. It's quite a long piece. So it starts off with the foxgloves, peach foxgloves at the top, acanaceas. And then I think these are, I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're almost like a daisy, but they're not. They're, oh. No, I can't remember the name, but I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me what these are called. They're almost like a, I want to say ast aster? No, I can't remember. Um, interestingly, it looks a bit washed out here in this light, but it's really actually more vibrant than, it, than, a, than I've got it. So you can see my knee. I'm on the floor of my, <laughs> of my hallway, so yeah. And then finally, I have already put one picture up and I'll just show you where that is. That's up the staircase. So here's my staircase. Here's my staircase. Here's the one I've got up. It's on my actual staircase. That is actually quite big. If I come a bit closer to it. If I put my hand here, you can see how big it is. And if I zoom in, I noticed it's actually a mixed media piece. So I built up the background with paint, acrylic, some 3D stenciling, drawn in my lines of the leaves I wanted to draw in. And I built it up and built it up. I've got textures going on on the canvas and these are my 3D flowers that I've embroidered, machine embroidered, free motion embroidered and put on a large, I don't know if you can see that though, very large canvas and that is halfway up my staircase at the moment just to give this whole area a bit of colour so you can see the top of my stairs and you can see where it is so I hope you've enjoyed the video as I say it's not a demonstration video at all this week it's purely an inspiration to show you the sorts of artwork I used to do I'm still working on my English paper piecing so I don't know those of you who have seen a previous email, um, seen a previous video on that. That is growing. <laughs> um, if I get, hang on, I'll take you down back downstairs, and I will show you 
the progress on that. Let me put my lights on. So it's a very dark, grey, mizzy day. Here's my English paper piece, one I've been working on. For those of you who remember when I started it, it's been going for about a year now. I was influenced by Kate from... Um, oh, Homely House by the Sea, I think it's called, her channel. Uh, it's all colour wash, English paper piece. And you'll see that's the size of the hexes. They're much smaller than Kate's, actually, purely because I was using scrapbooking punch that I've got for the paper. And then I cut the fabric to fit. And you can see that it's nearly, nearly king. Just got to go a bit further. So it's on the floor, floor of my living room at the moment, just so you can see it. I've laid it out. I don't have a design board. Though having said that, the wall that I was showing you earlier that needs pictures, I'd love to put a design wall there, but husband's not so keen. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, I can only apologise if it was wobbly because I said I've been doing this on my phone. I'm sure you'll appreciate that having had all having been decorating for so long, I did the decorating, well me and my husband did the decorating, having been decorating for so long, the house is still upside down, things haven't been put back yet, which is why I've been selecting my pictures to go back up on the wall. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, subscribe and click the notifications button so you know when I'm releasing a new video. I'd like to also, while I get the opportunity, to say thank you to all the lovely customers that come to Textiles East Fair, only three months to go now. So if you don't know anything about the Textiles East Fair, which is in Cambridgeshire or East Anglia, hence the name East Fair, then please uh, click on the link below to see the website and all the details of all the lovely traders and exhibitors that will be joining us. Anyway, bye bye for now and uh, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.